posted a news article about a teacher considering retiring to avoid backlash from anti-gay posts on Facebook. Now, I don't like Facebook as a whole, nor do I like any hate speech, but I have to say that being fired for one's opinion when stated outside the workplace is not a good thing. Freedom of speech means something to me. Now, what bothers me is not that she was told her opinion was wrong. It was that there was a threat of action against it. Free speech may not extend to private property, such as websites, who can determine what is allowed or not in such places. But this was something outside of work. A person's personal life is their own. And this witch hunting for people who post or say things online is wrong. Not only is it wrong, it's dangerous to free speech. Let's consider that any group who does not like the freedom we enjoy online We'll use these examples to excuse censoring it, and do not pretend that does not or cannot happen. We have seen such things all the time, such as torrents being blamed for pirating and video games being blamed for violence, in spite of all evidence saying otherwise. Now for a bit of logic and reason. The often ignored part of all this is that the internet offers a mask of anonymity, one that allows people to feel like they can say whatever comes to mind, sharing their opinions without fear of social stigma or attack. This has propagated the social media sites. This is a very wonderful chance to fix a lot of social problems. In the physical world, off the internet, people hide their opinions. We have been trained and practiced at masking our true opinions and emotions, often to the point that they become a danger to ourselves or others around us. This is a buildup of rage in people who have hateful opinions, which result in them lashing out. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I believe that the internet itself is the cause of the lower crime rate. I stand by that. So here's the logic why. When people vent their anger and hatred with violent acts, it only works to increase that anger. But when people write an angry letter or comment, they vent it. They vent it without adding any more violence to the action. That means they let it go. Now, the benefit so many people are not noticing. Although these are great reasons for online freedom of speech and keeping personal apart from work, there is one reason that is more important than any other. The internet social networks have the potential to be the greatest tool for finding flaws in our society better than any survey or poll that has ever been used. You can find those who are posting hateful comments and actually help them see where their opinions are wrong. We can see where the education system is failing, on a social level, from grammar to science. For example, there are still people who believe AIDS is a gay disease, that only gay people or acts are able to spread it. It sounds utterly ludicrous in this day and age that people are that uneducated but they do exist and are likely the reason AIDS is still spreading in the US. This is a sign that AIDS education is too focused on one group. The gay people pretty much have the information down now. They get tested more often than the others and are less likely to unknowingly carry the deadly and horrible HIV virus. This makes the millions of untested, naive, and ignorant straight people who think they are not at risk a serious danger to the rest of the population just because they are not educated about HIV. That was a scary example, I know. Sorry. So what should we do when we encounter hate speech or bigotry on social networks? Tell them the truth. Keep showing them why they are wrong until they get through their thick skulls or learn to just live and let live. Yes, they will retaliate by calling you a bully or try to spin it by calling you a bigot. But that's because they are projecting. Don't let their projecting get to you because they need the education not just for the rest of society, but for their own safety. We created the most powerful tool for communication, information, and exchange of ideas. It's time we start using it to its fullest potential. Stamp out bigotry and hatred with education.